Vasily and Mikhail Platovs are considered to be one of the best chess composers ever. Working mainly together, they left a huge and rich heritage of chess and game studies. Vasily was an honored doctor of medicine of the USSR and Mikhail was an engineer. On the night of October 4, 1937, in the midst of the Great Purge, Mikhail Platov was arrested, accused of counter-revolutionary activities, sentenced to 10 years of camps, and sent to a camp near Gargobol. The reason was that during a plant planning meeting, he made an uncomplimentary remark about Stalin. But even in prison, even in such terrible conditions, he could not live without chess. In his letter of May 9, 1938, he asked to send him new chess magazines and informed that his health strongly worsened. Since February, he was in hospital. The last news from Platov was a letter dated August 22. Presumably, he died in August or September 1938. At the end of 1938, parcels sent to him were returned. He composed even in his final months and sent his brother a watch to play and win he composed based on a game played in the camp. Hello chess lovers, Solon here and in today's video I want to share with you a chess puzzle composed by Mikhail Platov. Unfortunately, I failed to find an information which one was that chess puzzle which he composed in prison, but here is another one, a brilliant one, which we will analyze now together. The puzzle was first published in 1903 in Rigaer Tageblatt. The task is to win with the white pieces. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Uh, well, uh, I think that the first move comes to mind very quickly. That move is Rook A5. If queen takes a5, then knight c6 fork is winning. And seems like that with rook a5 we are already uh, winning black queen, right? But everything is not so easy and now black is demonstrating a tough defense. There comes king f4. Now you have to be careful because winning the queen leads to a stalemate. That's why it's in here that white is playing knight d3 check. C takes d3, and only now we are winning black queen. But there comes d takes c2, and suddenly black is getting an unstoppable pawn. And now, how to proceed? That's the question. Here we go. King g7, white king is coming close to this pawn on f5. Black is now going for a pawn promotion c1 queen and king g6 with a lethal mating threat. Queen c2, black is covering that square and with c4 we are putting black in a position of Tsubsavang. Now black is forced to make a move with his queen. Moving away the queen from b1 h7 diagonal will leave this pawn unprotected and white will announce a checkmate. That's why black is playing queen d3 in order to get another passed pawn, but this time, without much effort, white is neutralizing it. There it goes with rook f5, rook f5 check. White is managing to neutralize opponent's pawn. King takes h5. This is the shortest way of winning, and let's go for it. Takes, takes, king g4. Let's first protect the pawn, then win black pawn, and this is how the solution goes. A very, very nice chess puzzle composed by Mikhail Platov, which I hope that you enjoyed a lot. The defense from black side was, of course, beautiful as well. In the end of the daily puzzle, please take a look at the position and try to find the winning line for white. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.